So the Unfair Competition Acts provide remedies that target the domestic effects of IT theft and software piracy in overseas upstream supply chains. So this is an interesting approach uh, to dealing with software piracy. You know, often infringement will occur in a foreign country that's beyond the reach of, of our laws, our local laws, yet the manufacturer and the U.S. seller can benefit in the U.S. market at the expense of their competition and can be subject to these laws. So it's an interesting way of uh, tackling that issue uh, when copyright laws and other things like that can't be applied directly. Um, so we talked about this a little bit last year as an area to look to and see if we thought there might be uh, more growth in, in action here and pointed out that uh, Louisiana enacted state legislation in 2010, Washington State did the same in 2011. And um, I don't know that we are oracles of any sort, but of course uh, some cases have come up in, in the past year that are pretty interesting. Um, so in Massachusetts, the Attorney General's office alleged that the Narong Seafood Company, uh, which is a Thai fish processor, unfairly sold and delivered products into the state by illegally using pirated software products without paying the appropriate licensing fees. And the Attorney General pointed to Mass General Laws Chapter 93A and its prohibition on unfair competition. And what uh, the Attorney General Martha Coakley said was, Businesses using unlicensed software should not gain an unfair cost advantage over rivals who play by the rules, and that the state's committed to ensuring that companies doing business in Massachusetts compete on a level playing field. So those of you who've been to our webinars in the past, uh, or perhaps have attended one of our live events and maybe heard uh, Dane Collins from AWR, which is now part of National Instruments, talk about this issue of a level playing field, it's an interesting one, and, and what we think and what Dane uh, has, has spoken about is sort of the obligation of software vendors to aggressively pursue software piracy for the benefit of their paying customers. And that makes sense. If, if your customer's competition is not paying the full value uh, or any value for their software, they clearly are playing on an unlevel playing field and gaining a competitive advantage. So the application of these unfair competition acts to enforce that is an interesting area. And more recently, in January of this year, we saw the California Attorney General, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, accuse two foreign apparel makers of gaining an unfair competitive advantage over American companies by using pirated software and clothing production. So in those cases, uh, one of the companies was based in India and the other was based in China. And uh, the Attorney General alleged that they were violating California's unfair competition law by failing to pay licensing fees for software from companies like Microsoft, Adobe, and Symantec, and some others. And what she said was, you know, the unpaid fees gave these companies a significant cost advantage in the low margin business of apparel manufacturing, and that these suits target companies whose unlawful actions are eroding California's garment industry and placing California companies who legally pay for computer software at a disadvantage. So that's really interesting for a number of reasons. It's sort of a, a different way around working towards getting people compliant, but it also gives software vendors a stick. So uh, you know, Julian was just talking about the carrot approach, uh, and, and we talk about that, and our customers talk about that all the time too, of, of selling software. We, we know that when one of our customers identifies somebody uh, through Code Armor Intelligence, they're a highly qualified lead. They're actually using the software. So the message that they often send is, listen, it's much better to be a customer because you get upgrades, you get upgrade pricing, you get support, you get training, you get input into the next version of the software, all those arguments that you would make for a, a relationship sale. The flip side, though, is sometimes you need the stick approach, and, and this is definitely a stick approach. So within these Unfair Competitive uh, Act legislation, there's safe harbor clauses and affirmative defenses that may permit companies to avoid liability by adopting curative practices to halt or prevent the use of stolen or misappropriated software. So software vendors can now say, listen, we don't want you to get fined, we don't want you to get penalized, um, and you don't want those downstream effects uh, to any of the people buying your products either. Th this is why you should uh, pay for the software. And, and in many cases, our customers are now starting to use that argument rather successfully. 